Hello everybody and welcome and happy world card making day. How exciting. I had contemplated to have a in-person event because you know it's always fun to make cards with friends. Um, however we are in lockdown again so instead I have organized three, that is right, three craft alongs and this is the first of the three for today. So I shall introduce myself firstly. My name is Tatiana. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Australia and part of the 2021 artisan design team. And for this first session of craft along, we are going to make 12 cards. That's right, 12 cards, because we are doing a one sheet wonder. It's a new one sheet wonder that I've come up with and I'm super excited to share. And I love that you can make 12 cards out of it. So that means that you could make bulk make birthday cards and have them ready or as the year is ending or heading towards the end thank goodness we could make some christmas cards and that's what i will be doing so let's uh flip and take a look at the supplies you'll need i did post them on my facebook page and i'll update the video description to have them as well so that you could cut your cardstock alongside of me oh you cut your designer series paper alongside me uh, whatever the correct vernacular is for that i've got people jumping on good morning ladies thank you for joining me hello so firstly we definitely need a one a uh, 12 by 12 designer series paper this is the page that i have selected it's beautiful but i'm going to focus on this side only um it's always hard to pick a side of the designer series paper but you can certainly flip things and show off both sides this is from the painted christmas designer series paper and here it is down here and it's in the June to July mini catalog and it's part of the painted Christmas suite and to go along with that I said that you needed eight portrait mode or portrait card bases and I like to do mine top folding because when you have those horizontal blinds or if you string a string and hang your Christmas cards if they opened up sideways the portrait ones are sideways and that disappoints me <laughs> so portrait eight and four landscape so that's that i suggested a coordinating stamp set and i will be using the one from the suite which is called christmas season uh, but i have done all my stamping already well this part of the stamping so i've got the little pine cones the holly berries the big pine cones I've got these leaves uh, in two different colors i've got them in pear pizzazz and garden green and then i've got these leaves in the same two colors so i've done a little bit of prep work otherwise would be here forever die cutting and all of that so i'm using the coordinating dies for that stamp set now i was going to use the label dies and i had them all cut out and everything but then i didn't i don't have the stamp set so this one has this is sweet has two bundles and i don't have that one um didn't need you can't have it all right it's just too much so i've changed my mind and i've pre-cut some circles using the layering circle dies and i ummed enough what color and i decided on white on white I just, I really love that scalloped look. And I tried different combinations and ultimately ended up with white on white. So I've got 12 of those. You could do any sentiment label you want. You can do them all different. You can do them all the same. It's up to you and whatever sentiment you'd like. I have chosen this one, Merry Christmas to you and i haven't stamped that because i haven't decided what color but i've got it all mounted and ready to go and then some of the other things i've suggested was embellishments so i've pulled out these matte decorative dots 
and the in color jewels we'll see we'll do a combination of them and then i've also got some ribbon on hand so i'm thinking some red ribbon would go nicely with this and this is let's see the sheer real red ribbon and then this is the mini ruffled and then also we might use some of the evening evergreen ribbon so i've got the open weave one and the chevron weave but the point of this is that you can use whatever supplies you have on hat that is the absolute um fun about this is that just because i'm using these supplies doesn't mean you have to so let's get crafting or let's get making now I've got quite a few people watching and I'm wondering who, just give me a hands up or a thumbs up or a love heart, who is crafting alongside me? Are you just watching for fun or are you actually going to be making the cards alongside me? Because that would be pretty cool if you could. And I also did suggest a paper trimmer, considering we're cutting down the paper. Oh, I've got a love heart. Somebody's crafting alongside of me. That is awesome. Yes, excellent. Okay, so let's get started. Our first cut is at five centimeters. It doesn't matter which side you choose. And then we're taking this strip. Now, please let me know in the comments if I'm going too fast. So that was five centimeters. And I probably should say that this design has been cut and designed for those who are in are using a4 paper so not not the north american market you could work out the um equivalent but i am an a4 card maker and so the paper fits that so okay we've got five centimeter strip and now we're going to cut it into a 10 centimeter Ah, that's all good, Joanne. You can create that, this later. Now this is another 10 centimeters. And then this one conveniently is left at 10 and a half centimeters. Might be a smidgen bigger, but that means that that fits a card base as well. So there's our first few cuts. Our next cut will be at 10 and a half centimeters. Go. and then this is where you're going to think I'm a little crazy I am going to cut this at six inches because you know gotta make it fun <laughs> so we've got these two exactly the same they're both ten and a half and by six inches to make it easier for the next step you can layer them on top of each other and cut it once together or you can cut them individually it doesn't really matter and also you can flip these if you wanted to um, we are going to cut these both on a diagonal and what, how we're cutting it is five centimeters down from that corner and five centimeters up from this corner so what I do to be honest is I place it at the five centimeter mark and I nip it can you see that little nip and then I turn it around five centimeters again and nip it let's see can you see that little nip and then I place the nips along the the nips there and there so I've placed it along the cutting line and cut and that gives us four more cards one two three four and at this point you could flip two and use the other side of the designer series paper if you wish I'm going to stick to all of this one because this side is my favorite now for the next one now, what I'm going to suggest is that we cut it 
at 10 and a half centimeters. So we're taking the leftover piece, cutting it at 10 and a half centimeters. And then we just need to trim off a smidgen. So at 14.8, the width of our horizontal for our landscape. See, that's the smidgen. It's just that fraction too big. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy. We've only got two of these strips left over. Otherwise, we're using the full sheet. And then we're cutting at six and a half. So I've trimmed it. I'm flipping it back around and cutting it at six and a half centimeters. Now, of course, I will provide all the measurements in a written format on my blog in the future. I'm just scooting all of these over so we can place these. I like to keep them kind of in order over to the side. And we're going to repeat that essentially. So 10 and a half centimeters and turn and trim to 14.8. And there's our second scrap. If you were very clever and able to put glue on that, you could put that on the inside of your card and then there will be no wastage. And this time I'm cutting the four centimeters first. So this is six and a half and that leaves us with four. And this time I'm cutting the four centimeters first. It really doesn't matter. So you could have cut a 21 centimeter bit, cut down the side and then cut those bits off as well. Um, doesn't really matter how you do that trimming process. And then we're left with this piece right here and we're gonna cut it at 10 and a half centimeters wide. Yep, and then we're left with that little bit and done. All our cutting is done. So if I carefully, Move that. And this gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These will go on the same card, 10, 11, 12. You could extend it and create 13. If you wanted to, if you were inclined. So now I'm gonna scoot that to one side, scoot this to one side. And we're going to start with three portrait mode cards and we're going to adhere. So these are cut at 10 centimeters wide. So giving you a little tiny border to your card. And of course you can stick that. Ooh. Come on glue. What's wrong? I was using this last night and had no problems. Hello. Oh, that's not cool. Let's see. Ah, not happy. The glue is not happy. I'm just gonna grab a new glue. I have time to be unhappy, isn't it? There we go. Got the new glue. So the first two bits are exactly the same. And just for kicks, I'm putting one down there and I'll put one at the top. How are we all going for those who are crafting along? Am I going too fast? And then our third piece sits at full width of the card. So you can put it at the top or at the bottom. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go at the bottom. So 
the next, I guess, column of paper, we need four more portrait mood. And these pieces just adhere down there at the full width of the cardstock. And I just glue them down. That's one. This is two. Let's talk Christmas colors. Who likes traditional Christmas colors? Oh, Little Miss has put her hand up. So what are your, what do you think is traditional Christmas colors, sweetheart? Um, green and red. Green and red, yes, that's right. I'm kind of liking the concept of a pink instead of red. I mean, I won't do that today, obviously, since I showed red ribbon. Joanne also is a traditional Christmas color person. Joanne. Yes, Joanne from your live the other day. Yeah, I remember. You remember. There we go. And next row. Next okay. row what? Next row of paper. We're going to use the horizontal, the landscape ones. And Jody says she's also a um, traditional, that's the one. Joanne says hi to you, darling. Nope, she's distracted. <laughs> I told her she can join the next live. So with this one, you can stick it to the top, towards the bottom, however you wish. I know you love Christmas everything, Tanya. That is no surprise there. And because I stuck one, that one to the top, I'm sticking this one to the bottom. Vicky has said traditional for crafting. Ah, I love the sound of your Christmas tree. And Tanya says hi to you too, little miss. Hello. <laughs> Did that sound come across? She said hello. Uh, Vicky, I love the sound of your Christmas tree. Now, this one, I did say that we're flipping one part, so. The sound of the Christmas tree? Yes, so Vicky's Christmas tree is white with lots of aqua ornaments. Ooh, yeah. like Ooh. white like snow? Yes, white like snow. Ooh. And then... So, you know, for something a bit different. If you wanted, you could split that, like I already said, into two cards. And then our final two pieces. The first one is, hello, Debbie, you have made it, yay. So there's that one, you can put it towards the bottom or you could put it towards the top and I go towards the top. No need to apologize for lateness, it is, you come when you can and you watch what you can and you can watch the replay or not. It's all really quite casual. Oh, got a bit of glue on my finger. And there. So for those who are crafting along with me or who will do this later, I would love to see your pictures. Now we've got one landscape pic one left and this piece, you kind of just glue it to one side with an even border around. Don't even know the measurements of this piece, to be honest. And this is how I kind of design my one sheet wonders. Because that way there's less scraps. If we trimmed it down to a particular size, we would, you know, could potentially. But this is, from this one sheet wonder, this is all that's left over. And I'm pretty proud of that. I do have one that doesn't have any. This is the Painted Christmas DSP from the mini catalog. 
um, it's on page, oh, I closed it. I think it's page 31 or I can't remember. So now let's see if I can fit all of these. <laughs> I don't know if I could fit all of these in one shot as in camera shot. Ooh, I've got a charging cord in the way. Almost, sort of. What if I put these down here, and those over there. So they're kind of all in one shot. So now it's time to decorate with whatever you wish to decorate. As I already said, so what I'm going to do is, now I played around with different concepts of different labels and I decided on the circle label because it's best to, it kind of is the best one to show off the different cuts, if that makes any sense. Um, particularly the diagonal cuts because you don't want to cover them up. Let's see. So I'm just there. Hey Kayla, thanks for joining. Now, I feel like we need to bring red into this. It's very green. So we are going to stamp the sentiment in red. real red. Green. And to do this, I'm going to scoot all of these to the side so that I can do the stamping. And this being a circle, means that I don't, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I like the red on that. And as I was saying, because it's a circle, it doesn't hugely matter which way I stamp it. I did consider a red for the um, scalloped but it just felt too heavy. May try it again though. Oop. This bit doesn't take too long. So you can stamp on whichever shape, sentiment label, and in any color with any sentiment that you have on hand. And for ease, I am just doing all of mine exactly the same. Three more to stamp. Maybe it'll look good now. Probably look good now when I cut all these white ones. Oh, see, it just, it feels too lost to me. I prefer the white and white. We'll add more red with our decorations. What do we think? Who prefers the red? Not that I'm gonna die cut out a lot of more reds. Do you prefer the red back backing or the white backing? Red. Red. No, I'm happy with the white. I'm going to stick with the white. Yeah. Side. You like the white, Vicky? Good. Because I am staying with it. Stay, stay, stay there, white. <laughs> we'll add more red. We've got the red berries, the holly berries. And we've got red ribbon that we can add. We've got red gems. So, you know, we'll bring in that red. It doesn't need to be too heavy. So I'm gluing the two layers together because I don't like to stamp when it's glued. I prefer to, otherwise there could be a little bit of 
unevenness with the glue. Not that you notice it, but you would notice it when you're stamping. So it's always nice to have an even surface. Yes, sweetheart, you can watch TV. So it's a bit of repetitiveness now, but at the end, we will have 12 cards. Well, we have 12 cards formed. Hello, Sonia from Montreal. Welcome. I am, it's Saturday here already. So I think if I'm correct, it's still Friday night for you. And being Saturday, the 2nd of October, it is now World Card Making Day here in the South Pacific. And so I am doing three Facebook Lives because we're in lockdown, so I couldn't have an in-person event. And we, this is a one sheet wonder. All the measurements will be up on my blog at some point in the future. Um, but I do pre-warn those watching from North America that this is designed for the A4 card maker or the metric card maker, I guess you could say. And one more. And then we'll just add all our bits one by one. As in one card by one. Excellent. So to make the desk a little bit more easier to use. I'm just going to pile the cards up on top of each other. I'm trying to pile them in the way <laughs> that they were created, which is probably an unnecessary thing, but that's just how my brain works. There we go. And now I can bring in all my pre-cut, pre stamp So a little tip from me to you. As you can see, I needed quite a bit for all these. I've got extras because I'm making a few of these cards, you know, because the Christmas cards are needed. So what I did was I did all the die cutting first. I die cut all the leaves, the berries, the pine cones, and then... I mounted onto my Stamparatus. So just Why put white on white? Why can't I just put it on the card? Um, it's just a look, I guess, Linda. I, I'm not sure why white on white because it just gives it the little, when you're in person, you can see the texture difference. So that's one thing. Um, as for, why can't you put it on the card? I'm not entirely sure what you mean. If you reword that, I might be able to answer that. So what I did was then I die cut all my pieces and then I mounted the stamps, stamped them onto the grid paper and then put, I actually stuck these down, stuck those down to the grid paper. And then all you had to do was place, that wasn't the best example, but you place your white bits in ink, stamp, and presto. Saves a bit of time when you've got a bit of bulk stamping to do it because you're not wasting time lining up the die into the exact position to cut around each piece. This way, it's all pre-cut, it's all lined up. You just gotta make sure that the paper is still nice and flush in the corner. And I find that it does move, so just every time. Stamp. But that's how I did all of that. Had a fun stamping session last night. And now we can take a look at how we wish to decorate. Hi, Ida, how's it going? 
Your angulum from yes for yesterday. Hope you had a lovely day. And I think in green. I like. So I'm gonna carefully. Yeah. Glue those bits down. So for those who are crafting along, I know that there were some, what stamp set are you using? Or what paper or what theme have you gone with? Yes, thanks Jody. I, particularly at Christmas time, find myself doing it quite frequently like that because at Christmas time, I need a lot more cards. So I'm just gluing all of these down. To directly to the card, uh, the card base. And we'll put the little red berries there. So I've got one of each leaf and basically I've got one of each item for each card. There and then before I stick that down, We'll grab some ribbon. Let's see. It might not use the ribbon. But yeah, no, I like it with the ribbon. So, a bit of tear and tape. So tear and tape out the size of your sentiment label and you place it right over, oh, right underneath where the sentiment will go and by using the tear and tape we can stick the ribbon down and still move it around and get it right before Let's go. we yeah, from stick Monday. it. Yeah, I've been training. <laughs> You've been training. It's quite easy. This is so easy. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, that conversation is good in the background of my video. Sorry. <laughs> the boys are doing their boy thing. <laughs> and I am going to use dimensionals to pop up the sentiment. Joanne, you are amazing. You have finished your Christmas cards. This is going to be the bulk of my Christmas cards this year. <laughs> I'm hoping to use up that full packet of the painted Christmas DSP. Now you notice I've still got the ribbon there and that's on purpose so that I can trim it off and that way I'm not wasting as much ribbon. There's the only little bit of excess ribbon and potentially in the next form of the next card, there won't be any excess ribbon. So there's one down. Ta-da, Merry Christmas to you. Let's do the next one. And basically this is the same thing. Let's start with the ribbon this time. So I've got tear and tape. And I'm going to place it there. And it's okay if the ribbon goes slightly beyond the card because our envelopes do allow for a little bit of over, overage. There we 
go. And that didn't trim quite the right angle. So yeah, I found that by keeping the ribbon on the spool, it just means I'm wasting less ribbon and creating more. Now you don't have to use the pine cones. You could just, you don't have to use a stamp set and decorate. You could just use it and leave it as, as is. What do we think? With pine cones or without pine cones? So give me a thumbs up if you think I should leave that one without pine cones. And give me a love heart if you think I should add the greenery and the pine cones in. Oh, rhinestones, thank you. Oh, pine cones. No, I thought these said rhinestones. With, 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 everyone's saying with, so let's go with. I really like the position of that one, so I'm gonna scoot it up and So this is where you can have a lot of fun and just individualize each one quite a bit. And I forgot to add the embellishments. So I'm going to stick this one down and we'll do two together. So much happier with the circles than what I had. Now that one I've got slightly sticking out, so just trim that off. And do, 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 do. might go with these beautiful. So this is the matte decorative dots. They came from the stocking suite. And these ones are cherry cobbler, but that's all good. We'll use the medium kind of color. One. Oh, would be good if the adhesive back stayed on it. Not stuck to the top of it now. It's time to trim my nails. They're getting too long. And go with two up here. It just brings that bit more of red in. Like that. So there we go. One, two. And for this one, we might use the in color. because it's blue dot is still behind it. So these ones I'm using right now are the Evening Evergreen. And the DSP does have a little bit of Evening Evergreen, so it works. And I find that the tones in these jewels are quite good. So there we go. Just a little bit of sparkle. Are we happy to keep going with each individual one? Let's let's change some ribbon. Let's go with 
let's do something else with the ribbon. So let's use this open weave one. Let's start with the tear and tape again. I was, I don't know, I put the tear and tape on an angle because the ribbon goes on an angle. And this one, I've put the sentiment a bit lower down than I had intended, I guess, but that's okay. I trim that and just tidy that end up. Oop. So as you can see, that's all of my leftover, my scrap. happy when I don't waste things. What about you? It's always nice to know that you've used it all up fully. Where are the dimensionals there? Plop them on. See, if you wanted to, you could be really super duper organized and you could spread, well, depending on your space, you could spread things out and work on them all simultaneously. So do all the ribbon across all your cards. And then, oops, I didn't mean to take the backing off. I didn't want to take the backing off. How am I getting little pine cones in the big pine cone section? I do not know. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, I'm alternating the colors of the leaves. So if I'm using the, it's the green. I'm using, I can't remember the green. It's not evening evergreen. Oh my goodness, garden green. So if I'm using the garden green for one leaf, I'm using the pear pizzazz leaf for the other. And I'm really happy with that. Nice to be able to just glue it down. Well, I'm going to have to, because that's now stuck. I'm gonna to have to carefully add some glue. I would not suggest gluing things down this way. <laughs> do as I say, do not do as I do. <laughs> I didn't mean to take the dimensional backings off. It's all good. All of that bulk stamping last night has really come in handy. There we go, and I might go with the evening evergreen again. I really like these. Whoop. And if you notice, I always put it in a big one next to a small one. And I am trying, 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 trying to keep it at odd numbers. And I'm doing a little triangle as well as a little two. I just, I love the way they add just that little bit of something special. Is that in screen? No, it's not in shop. Let's put our collection there. Let's try the red ruffled ribbon. Oh. I'm going to do the zigzag. It's what I call the zigzag. So that's the stripped ribbon and those two, the first two were the zigzag ribbon. Do they have official names? I have no idea. Does anyone know if there is official names? There's my tear and tape. Couldn't find the tear and tape. Oh, 
Tanya, how is it that you haven't ordered it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you had the whole catalogue by now. You like zigzag? <laughs> So I didn't get, this set is a quite, it's a, um, what's it called? Yeah, it is a suite and it's a mega suite in the sense that it has two bundles. I only got one of the bundles and I got the DSP and I do, oh, the other ribbon that has in this set is the um, Cherry Cobbler ribbon, which we shall bring out. And just trying to, find the right spot for starting this, maybe a bit lower. So this is what I like about the tear and tape. It gives me that ability to move things around and it's not permanently adhered. Tiny adjustments, but for me, they're important. And let's do our pine cones. I'm coming. Now, see, I feel like the pine cones on top of the paper is just too much. So that's why I've been putting them where there's more green. That pine cone will need a bit of trimming. And I didn't take the backing off the what do you call it off the dimensionals for that so this time it's a bit more smoother floral arrangement. I've never taken any classes, but I would love to. I've seen those wreath classes, they look so much fun. It'd be nice to have a nice wreath on the front door, wouldn't it? Ooh, more fingers. What's Tanya saying? I can't quite see. I did, but it wasn't going to go. Not sure, can't remember the conversation. I'm not happy with that there. I'll put it here. And now we They're can. They're coming to get you. One. One, Papa. Coming to get you. I trim the ribbon. So oh, we need, and I'm thinking, <laughs> where are Go pearls as well. I've got one pearl colored there. Mm. So I once had a class where we needed pearls that colored red and so I bought quite a few. I'm gonna bring out the champagne ones. And I'll use them on the next one. But where are the basic rhinestones? There. And if I grab my real red. That's the dark real red. Oh. Good tempo there. Two big ones oh, on that sky. And one, two, oh. three small ones. Is 
Where is he? Yeah, sure. So there are red rhinestones in our catalog. I just don't have any. And I kind of figure that I can always color the plain ones. So I don't need to buy the red ones, but they look good too. The next one we will use the cherry cobbler and gold. So this is cherry cobbler and gold and it's metallic ribbon. And I'm going to just skip across a few and bring in this card. This card is the one that has all the DSP across it. <laughs> um, Tanya, little man and um, hubby. I was going to call him big man, but <laughs> he's hubby. Um, they are playing a game called League of Legends. Now, because this one is going to be quite busy if I add all the... What do you call it? Add all the leaves and the pine cones. I'm just going to do ribbon, sentiment, and some jewels. And the ribbon, we're using it to kind of cover the, the seam between the two. I'm really liking this ribbon on here. There we go. And following the same angle on the other side. And then just add the sentiment over the top. On dimensionals, of course. one these aren't quite gold but these are the champagne basic jewels but I think they kind of go well to bring up the ribbon they kind of go well so we will use them and we only need three really one two one there so I think I'm going to end the live there because there are quite a few other cards to go but they're all pretty much the same thing oh hold on we've done a diagonal so we don't need to do that um, that's that's similar to that actually I might do that one but this will be the same concept as that this will be the same concept as the diagonal and I might just do this one we'll do two more and I've got to uh, point out that every time I've been putting the sentiment label it's to the side it's not in the middle and I think that visually it's a lot more pleasing when you off-center things so let's do two more and with this one I'm going to have it up and I really liked the cherry cobbler ribbon so let's do the zigzag method oh look at that that's pulling and splitting so we need some tear and tape and if you notice I've put the tear and tape on an angle and I'm going to go the zigzag across that go on with a slightly bigger piece just gives more area for the ribbon to adhere to. Though it doesn't really matter, it could go straight. I'm going to make sure I pull some extra out because that's... And the zigzag method does work really well with wider ribbon such as this cherry cobbler. Love it.
that. Once you start doing a few, you get kind of like the eye for the length, don't you? Particularly when you're repeating the same process. And then, we've got our pine cones to go. Kind of feels in the way. watching and joining me I hope you have picked up on some few tips and tricks and um, I hope you give my one sheet wonder a go let's see so it's got enough glue there hold that in place already. And then I need a big one. Really happy with these cards. Just finish the last one and I'll finish the rest later on and you'll see them up on my blog. Oop. And we'll use the champagne rhinestones again. nicer when you can see it in full screen isn't it and actually I'm gonna leave that one as is you don't have to put decorations do not feel that you always have to add the other bits sometimes just a sentiment and ribbon and of course a bit of bling is enough told me that it's low on battery but I thought I had it on charge so who knows anyhow there is how many did we do finish how many did we finish I'll put these away I like having these little containers so that I can have them all sorted and easy to swoosh away close the lid let's do some swooshing away so that we can have a look. We did one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six more to decorate, but you get the idea. It's really not, oh no, we did decorate another one. There we go, we've only got five more to decorate. But I will do them on my own. I have taken up enough of your time. So thank you so much for joining me for this one sheet wonder. Let's, uh, Let's just flip and say hi over here. That, so that is my one sheet wonder for World Card Making Day 2021. Um, my next live will be a, I don't know if it pauses when it tells me battery's low, so I'm just better off. Anyway, I hope that was all good. Um, next live is at 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, so that's Sydney time. And Brisbane, you're still in the same time as me. So Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne time. 
and we will be doing a fun fold. So I've listed some basic supplies on my Facebook page. Uh, they are, if I remember, two sheets of cardstock, any color you wish, but in the same color. And then if you would like some little bit of DSP, I haven't given any measurements because um, it's going to get too complicated. So we will cut and the... score and assemble this fun fold card together. I hope you can join me and we will see you soon. Thank you. And